Hey guys, Llamas here. I'm gonna show you my latest tutorial on how to make a hydraulic engine. This once again is really strong, provides a lot of torque. It's not that fast, but it's a lot of torque. And it's really cool. I'm just gonna put it in slow motion to show you. See, it's fast right now, but when it's on a vehicle. See, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I got, you gotta parent it, or else it will kind of fail. Parent the ranger. Here. Okay. There we go. That's a lot smoother. You can see. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to make this. First, you go to your useful and explosive props. Spawn a plate 05 by 1. Put it up there. Then, you go to... Um, general construction props. Get this thing out. It's a 05 by 05 by 025. Go to transportation props. Get the first metal wheel. You guys know what this is. Um, go to easy precision. Move. 15 is the offset. And you're gonna get since off smart snap doesn't work with these wheels for some reason. Just you gotta get really close on here, like that, and put it on, just like I did. Then you get your axis tool, put it right here, and then right here, weld, and then set all the weights to 50. Get it, get a hydraulic out. Get your hydraulic tool first one outside of the thing right there as close as you can and then inside of the block put it right here and then put one right here and then right here you have two which you're not going to use two these are only to get a lance 14 so it's 15 and 54 so you get your constant value and make this shorter so we're gonna make it 12 and this will be longer 56 and put that first undo the second hydraulic and put this right here then we're gonna go control selection if then statement you get three well, one right there one right there and one right there and um... you're gonna get go to input output advanced input put it right there numpad oh wait on the advanced input minimum is negative 100 maximum 100 start at zero and change per second is 10 and get these keys plus and minus or plus yeah and then um... put that right there then get a numpad zero toggle on one off zero put it right there and then get a constant value of zero five thousand three you're gonna get three and thirty five put that right there and then you're going to get a comparison greater than chip put it right there and then you're going to get a constant value four only need one right there detection ranger output distance show beam and ten should be the range that's why oh whatever um a if a if greater than then oh wait I forgot two things I never did this I never wired anything forget it subtract you can get subtract here and add here in your arithmetic see if I got everything okay now we wire if a then add else subtract and your add will go a to the um advanced input 
B two fifty six A and Van C no A twelve B to the answer but and you have to do for subtract the the constant value first of twelve or else it won't work. And then A of greater than to the distance of the ranger, B greater than to the four. And then you can go to this if then else statement. If A then this one, this if then else else C else 35 else 35 and then this one if a then 5000 else 0 and I think that's it and then you're gonna go here and length will go to, to this if then statement and constant will go to this if then statement and freeze this and now it works and you can turn it up don't turn it down just unless you've turned it up too far and you're turning it up will be the speed it's got a lot of torque it can be fast like this one I modified but this this works so I'm gonna turn it up all the way so you can make this bigger I can go faster. But this thing has a lot of torque. Whoa. As you see, if I hold the wheel, it spins it. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But that is my video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Llamas out.